Great news, everybody! Or terrible news, everybody! Depending on how you feel about Thor, Love and Thunder. Or Love and Blunder. That's right, it's your main man Z here, and I am here to discuss late breaking news from, I guess it's an anonymous source. I don't do any fact checking, but you heard it here, second or third. Anyway, I want to give my opinion on the rumors that Taika Utidi, Utidi is not coming back for Thor 5. If you love Thor Ragnarok and you love Thor Love and Blunder, you're going to be very sad. But if you're in my camp where you think that Thor Ragnarok was just pretty okay, not like it was fine, it's good, so I'm okay with it. To Thor Love and Blunder, which you're like, Bleh! that's what I think about it. I mean, I like Christian Bale, but other than that, I was like, Bleh! <laughs> just think you live in a day and age with $745 million or $47 million is not enough money to get you a sequel, especially when I show you some shocking, shocking things. Check this out, but before we get there, just a reminder, like and subscribe. I know I gotta tell you this just because we're trying to grow, baby. You wanna see more content from us, you gotta hit that, that subscribe button. You gotta make it happen, Captain. All right, so we're moving, we're checking it out. Thor Love and Thunder mixed reception makes Marvel's Taika Utiti. Is he out? Is he out for Thor 5? Heartbreaking news for fans. Oh my God, I'm so sad. That's right. Uh, the third director, he'll probably now be the fourth. I remember Joe Johnson directed the first one and some dude directed the second one, which was going to be Patty uh, Jenkins, but somebody else did that one. But... Thor 5 doesn't seem like they're going to bring him back because people weren't real happy with it. His mix of humor did not seem to make that much sense. Currently, it stands at $747 million globally. That's not that good. Remember that movie that everybody hates but I still like? The Batman vs. Superman? It made less money than that. Oh my god. Especially when you have... Um, Top Gun, like, consistently beating it every single week now. Uh, the source has been revealed to Giant Freaking Robot. I, they seem to be fairly trustworthy to me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, oh, that's right. It wasn't Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson directed Captain America. I am sorry. I apologize. The first one was directed by esteemed actor Kenneth Branagh. Second was directed by some dude, Alan, Alan Taylor. And then Taika did the last two. Very strange, very strange. But this isn't the only place reporting it. This is a koimoi.com. This is some other fandom wire. Taika Waititi reportedly not returning for Thor 5 after Thor Love and Thunder. Uh, the abysmal critical reception. I didn't think the critical reception was that bad, but I think people weren't super thrilled with the humor that you saw in there. Uh, they felt a lot of it was fell flat, you know. I think Taika Waititi was a little bit busy slapping skins on his last uh, movie. Isn't that right? I'm pretty sure he just married that pop singer, what's her face, uh, Rita Ora, but at the same time was also slamming it with uh, Tessa Thompson. I see, seen a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of things there going on. Really, the tomato score has dropped to 65%. Oh, it's one of the lowest rated things, and uh, that's terrible. I forgot about that. Uh, we reviewed it somewhere in a video, above, below, around, somewhere. Why won't he come back? I don't know. Maybe because it wasn't that good, and he was too busy pounding Tessa Thompson with his girlfriend instead of paying attention. <laughs> It's amazing because I just need to point out the hypocrisy of what's going on. Z does not forget things. Z remembers when Forbes magazine reports. This is freaking Forbes, people. 
Not these other two rags I showed you, these other random sites. No, this is Forbes from a senior contributor. Says, Taika Watiti has a really good idea for Thor 5. Oh my god. It said, uh, <laughs> if it's as good as the title Love and Thunder, forget about it. I don't need that. I don't need an 80 sitcom with an Attic Kid feature. Please, don't. Uh, they saw, they go, oh, it's kind of strange. Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth were surprised when they saw Thor will return pop up at the end of the film. Yeah, the movies make a lot of money. You're probably not going to walk. I know $747 million doesn't sound a lot to you and I. It's just not that much money. But to them in Hollywood, who are it's just they need that pittance. They need that little bit of monies. They ask us, where's the monies? Well, they need that money more than we we don't need it. Pfft, why would we need that kind of money? Anyway, <laughs> they're like, oh, I can't believe they wanted to want us to come back for another movie. Are you kidding me? Thor barely brings people. He's only the last of the original Avengers that's still like able to do movies. Can't do Hulk movies. You don't have the rights to it. Uh, so let's see. Oh, they're going to take him. He wants to make a five million. That's right. His great idea. This probably doesn't help that he was giving really bad advice to, like, or just giving really strange interviews. And, you know, Taika Waititi is a strange dude, wants to do whatever he wants to do. He's like, oh, I just want to make a $5 million, a $5 million movie with no fighting at all, just throw on a road trip, just like Nebraska. Yeah, that 2013 movie that Alexander Payne made that no one watched that I've never heard of. Yeah. I'll watch a black and white film. Right. No fighting. Nothing. At all. No plot. Just driving. Just gonna keep it going. Black and white. Jeez. This is interesting. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. It, this is just a rumor. I suspect it's more than a rumor. I think they let it slip out to the... Uh, the fringe verse there so that the fringe people could pick it up first that way we all think like oh it's not a big deal this there's not much going on here it's just a thing but i think there's more to this story that meets the eye i i think with them ditching phase four you gotta remember dr strange was projected to make a billion dollars did not break a billion dollars thor was supposed to be the end cap of phase four or at least like one of the biggest movies this year and it barely it didn't get close to a billion dollars and it didn't even barely even did as good as Ragnarok from what I understand I mean I could look up the numbers but you get the idea and then on top of all that it's just you know I think he's falling out of favor remember they were going to give him they were going to give Taika Waititi that Star Wars film and now it doesn't seem like they're going to give him a Star Wars film I don't know you know don't piss off the wrong people the very powerful people of Hollywood that make you pay. They're going to make you pay. Anyway, uh, if you like what we do here, please catch more of it. We've got all sorts of videos, shorts, all sorts of great stuff. We also have a live, full-length audio podcast. You can download it anywhere for free. Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places. iTunes, of all places, obviously. Then you can also catch us live stream it on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights, come hang out with us it's a great time lots of great chat lots of great stuff some great uh giveaways and things like that so come hang out with us there uh but as for myself i am on to the next one